Hi Sagis, how are you guys doing? Welcome to Sagittarius Tarot and another timeless bonus reading for you. Let me take you on a spiritual voyage using the Voyager Tarot. Um, I'm going to be picking for you six cards that will show you what are you feeling right now, why are you feeling like that, how to move forward, who is going to help you, where will you find that, and when will it manifest. So enjoy this spiritual trip with me. And let's see where it will take us. Very exciting. Let's see. So tell me what are you feeling right now? What are Sagis feeling right now? What is whoever is viewing this video is feeling right now? Let's see. What are you feeling right now? Okay, this keeps on popping in previous voyages, if you watch them, the other six voyages, it's present this card, okay. I forgot which position, but it's present. Beautiful. This is the Three of Worlds, or the Three of Pentacles, in reverse, and in the Voyager Tarot, it says nurturing. So, this is talking about nurturing oneself, nurturing um, the inner rather than the outer, right? Because in the outer, usually it talks about nurturing and building and team building and all of these things and, you know, and eating and exercising and nurturing and traveling, all these things. When it's in reverse, this is talking about internal nourishment, inner nourishment, spiritual food. So you got to give like your soul food. And so maybe watching these type of videos like is actual inner nourishment right for you it could be many things whether this is like um practicing your faith whether this is meditating sitting alone um whatever it is that makes your soul feel nurtured this is all about doing that and so you today you feel whenever you do like tune in right you are feeling somehow that you need to nurture your inner soul you need to feed that purpose you need to feel to fill your own spiritual cup very very beautiful now let's see why are you feeling like that why are you in need of this inner nourishment what it is all about so let's see why are you feeling like that and so you're feeling like that because of the Empress in Reverse. And the Empress in Reverse talks about um, the reason why you're feeling like that, right? That you need to restock your soul um, and give it more like spiritual fuel is because you are feeling like as if your creative potential and spiritual potential is not living up to its like you know standard or reputation or whatever like you feel you can give a lot more love you can feel you can give a lot more wisdom you feel you can reach higher spiritual planes you feel you can um all that but right now it feels a little bit like the river is a bit dry right so you want to make that river flow again in order to embody um the empress and be able to um, spread abundance around you and feel abundant and um, nurture and give and all that. And so that's why you feel like you have probably been, you know, nurturing other aspects. And so there's a little imbalance. So maybe you've been nurturing too much the physical or the emotional or the mental. And so this is asking you to nurture the spiritual. Also, because the worlds are, or pentacles talk about um, physical material things, this is also saying that the reason why you feel also, because this could be interpreted in a way that you got to find your purpose at work or your career or your vocation. Maybe one job isn't cutting, the, cutting it anymore. You need to focus on something else that fulfills you. Um, maybe this is a job or a career path that used to bring you like you know, like joy and makes you feel like as if it's part of your purpose and now it's no longer part of your purpose and you feel like it's just not filling you up. Whether this is maybe a team that used to, you know, with whom you used to feel 
well nurtured and you're thriving within a team, whether it's a team at a job or whatever it is, right now you might feel that this team is no longer cutting it for you and that's why you're being a lone wolf and focusing on you because you need to find what nurtures you again. And so this also is probably talking about something that you draw, you offer a value and you drive an income from it, you drive money from it. This could be a job, this could be a relationship, this could be anything. And that right now you're feeling it's sort of like the well sort of dried up and you need to tap into whatever this is, right? In order to rebalance things and in order to claim back the Empress energy and tap that, tap into that um, abundance again and, you know, growing and expanding and making money and all that and moving towards success. Now, let's see how to move forward with this, right? How to move forward given all that. Four of worlds. So definitely this is talking about your money, your coin, your income or your value, how you value yourself. Things tied to the income and value and money because it's worlds, worlds, and we have the emperor, which has abundance in the middle. So yeah, this is not only just purpose and soul fulfillment. This is also your coin. And the four of worlds in reverse, which is the four of pentacles in reverse, it says commencement, right? It is in reverse here. So you feel like as if you... So how to move forward? Okay, when it is, when it is like not in reverse... It talks about like not hoarding, but like, you know, saving and holding on to wealth or to money or um, playing it safe or whatever in order to have a safety net or something like that. And so it's the commencement of building wealth. Right. And so the fact that it came here in reverse and it's about how to move forward. This is speaking. Um about um, the only way to move forward from that energy is to actually take some risks, is to actually let that energy flow. The reason why the, like, the well dried up or the river dried up is you're not maybe like moving that energy. You got to move those coins, right? And so just like in nature, the water like hits the river and then it evaporates and then it drains and then it hits the river again, you got to spend that coin in order to make a coin. You got to like spend money in order to make money. You got to, um, you know, receive and give. You got to, so, right? So like with this in reverse, it's like you got to break that cycle. So you've got to stop acting from a place of deep need for security and deep need for safety. And this is not like working out in your favor. And so you've got to, you know, it doesn't necessarily mean take a risk in your job, but this is also talking about like resources where you just got to enjoy them. You have got to start spending, living, you know, and forgetting about the ultimate goal because along that journey, um, what will happen is once you do that, that empress will be like, you know, um, back again. And then you're going to feel joy again from working within that team. And then that those two energies combined together will open the floodgate and then you're going to be making a lot more money, right? Beautiful. Okay. Let's see. Who is going to help you accomplish that? Who is going to help you accomplish that? Let's see. Okay. Man of Worlds. So this is definitely about money, like worlds, 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 pentacles, 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 or value, right? Um, so the man of worlds in reverse, and this is saying like achiever, but it's in reverse. And so this is saying that what is going to help you exactly get there is like I said here, right? Who is going to help you is you taking a pause from all that like hustle and going at it 24 seven and not stopping and continuing and, you know, pushing through. This is a time to have fun. This is a time to let loose. This is a time to, um, you know, break the piggy bank, spend some money, have some leisure, spread around joy, you know, tap into that joy 
because maybe things have become too serious lately. And so you've got to remember while you're doing it all, you've got to remember to enjoy and have fun. You've got to remember that money only makes sense if we're also enjoying it. And, you know, if we're all about like gaining that freedom and um, like freedom of time, we got to enjoy the time because if you're only working towards like, um, in, uh, like financial independence, like there's no... What's the point if you're not going to have, you know, time to enjoy that as well? And because then it becomes counterproductive as if you're like working, working, working towards having like more time, but you end up not having time. And so, yeah, this is talking about taking a break. You will go back to achieving again. You will go back to saving money again, right? Once you take a break and have fun and the floodgates open and you become abundant because you finding joy again in working with that team and in building that, um, you know, um, whatever your passion is that you give value and you drive money from. Okay. This makes total sense so far. It's been all also reversals. That means a lot of introspection is needed. Okay, let's see now, right, um, where will you find that? Where will you find that which is going to help you? So, man of cups, surfer, exactly. Where will you find that? In play. You will find that in play. So you've got to, you see how like all the words are super connected, like all the cards and everything, like really the story is just unfolding automatically. Like you don't even need a reader to like read this. <laughs> so where you will find that? You will find it in like playtime. So whatever that is looking for you, whether that's binge watching, whether this is like going out in nature, hiking, whether this is like socializing, whether this is like shopping, online shopping, Great time, by the way, there's like Black Friday and Cyber Monday soon, so you can like shop, you know, till you drop and you can, and while doing that, you know, you release that coin and once you release that coin, it'll bring you pleasure, that pleasure will put you back like you'll no longer see this, you know, like, and then you're going to make a lot more, the worst. Um, Christmas is coming soon at some also, so you can also spread the joy and give gifts and all that, these things. So, um, going back to the reading. You will find that in surfing through life, right? You will stumble upon it by chance. Somehow, somewhere, while you're pursuing all these hobbies or all these leisure and all this hedonism, right? Somewhere along those lines, it'll happen and you'll just feel an energetic shift and you're back to, you know, creating that wealth. Very beautiful. Now, let's see when will that manifest. And so, let's see, when will that manifest? Purity, two of wands. Okay. What this is telling me is that that will manifest whenever you feel like you are in touch with your old self again. What, does I, what do I mean by your old self? Like... Somewhere along the line, let's say, when you got too serious or you, you were hustling too much, all of these things that prior I mentioned them, um, maybe they made you like lose the touch with the adventurous um, Sagittarius because Sagittarius, as much as, you know, there's a flair for philosophy and religion and spirituality and philosophy and like higher learning and all of these like very heavy and dense topics. And as much as Sagittarius drives like passion from them, Sagittarius is the life of the party. The energy is fun times, partying, you know, doing like extreme lavish things, enjoying yourself, expansion because it's Jupiter. So it's even expanding the belly, like eating too much, doing too much, <laughs> working out too much, eat, like whatever it is, right? I'm not here like to encourage you to go like do some like debauchery that like will ruin your life. But I'm just saying, You've been like playing it too cautious lately and this is not too sagy from you. And when will it manifest? When will all of this manifest? Is whenever you get back in touch to who you really are. Okay. Now, 
This is your reading, just out of curiosity, because this is not usually part of the reading, but let's just see, like, the bottom of the deck. It says Seven of Worlds again, so another confirmation from the universe that it's about your coin, your value, your money, whatever you're building, right? And there's a breakthrough. It's, this is the breakthrough card, but it's in reverse. That means the breakthrough is near, but first fun, right? First fun, then you'll have your breakthrough. So that, this is very beautiful. Let's try to look at it one more time now that it's all fully unfolded. This voyage, right, has three worlds um, suits in it. So this is talking about your money, your income, your value, the value you put to the um, services you provide, uh, whatever you're building, um, material, physical, your body, your health, your money, your foods, all of that. Your clothes, right? Your cars, whatever it is. Cars probably would be like a three, but yeah. You know, anyhow, so all of these things okay and so yeah cars are like three so if three of worlds is like reverse maybe you need to pimp your ride right like just you know refurbish your car <laughs> do something like nice to enjoy yourself so let's look at it what are you feeling right now you are feeling that you need to you know step aside from whatever you're building you feel the need to step aside from the group um be alone or step aside from whatever project you're doing and or you feel that like whatever project or step you're into needs that je ne sais pas quoi and you don't have it right now and why are you feeling like that because you are feeling like as if you're drained and that you're no longer able to tap into that infinite source of abundance and you know that this is only temporary and this is just, you know, like a hiccup and you will be able to get there once you nurture yourself, into, you nurture that inner child, right? You will flip the empress back again. How to move forward is by first um, releasing your tight grip over control, controlling your resources, controlling everything around you, um, all this like deep need for like complete total security and safety. You got to take risks, especially when it's like, especially when it comes to like spending or having fun. Right? I'm not talking here about like addiction and gambling and things like that. But some light fun, you know, could be good. You can shop, you can spend stuff, you can get yourself gifts, you can get out of the gifts, you can, you know, try to loosen it up. Right? And there's no harm in like blowing uh, blowing some bags over drinks, food, gifts, leisures, experiences, traveling, whatever you want to call it. So this is how to move forward. Now, who is going to help you is the fun aspect of your personality that you lost in touch with. So you got to stop achieving for now and just try to um, get there. And it might feel daunting, but you will be able to do that. And how, where will you find that? You will find it in surfing, which means in like play time, in disconnection time, something when you, when you decide to take a pause and to embrace, you know, being in the moment and enjoying the moment and being, uh, feeling like magic towards everything again, like looking, every, looking at everything from a, a little child's perspective, from innocent eyes, enjoying like the pleasures of life like good food good drinks good clothes good decorations good company beauty nice things nature you know holidays traveling it's all about the hedonism life right like this is all about like looking for pleasure seeking pleasure so during pleasure you will find be able to tap back into that and when will it manifest it will manifest whenever like there's like that shift in energy where you feel like finally you are back to your old self you are no longer you know, like once you do that, you look back and you'll be like, oh my God, like I was stressing myself too much. That isn't the way to move forward. I mean, at the end of the day, of course, I'm going to be resuming building my empire. At the end of the day, I'm going to be resuming making that call. I'm going to be resume like, you know, hustling and all that. But I didn't have to be like so damn serious about it. And so now I'm able to balance it better, right? With the two of wands and you'll be able to balance better energies like uh, work hard, play hard, work smart, play smart, work and play, you know, um, 
family and friends, a romantic life and you time, um, everything, right? You're able to balance things more. And that is really beautiful. What a journey and what a big message to remember to feed your soul, feed your fun time, feed your inner child. Go out and play Sagis. I know you're very good at it. You're charismatic. Everyone loves you. Go do that, right? And if you find that with your own activities, like, like I mentioned, um, just, you know, um, pamper yourself, indulge a little. That's all I'm saying. I love you, my Sagis. Thank you for watching this video till the end. Thank you for your likes. I like they tell me that you appreciate this video and I like it a lot. Thank you for all your comments. If this resonates, um, whether it's an appreciation comment that I, I like, I, I always try to make sure to reply to all of them, whether it's a personal experience, it helps me like connect with you. Thank you for your subscriptions. If you have not subscribed yet, this is your way of supporting me emotionally for now. Please go ahead and click that subscribe button. It really helps me out a lot. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I love you. Now go out. Have fun. Ha, ha, ha.